G'day guys, Sean Savage here from Streaker Marine in Melbourne, Victoria. Today we're on board the beautiful Yellowfin Plate 7000 Southerner. Uh, with our 7000 Southerners, we make two models. It's in our bigger range, it's our 7000 and our 76. So what we're gonna do is we have a bit of a walkthrough in this particular boat and tell you why it should be certainly on the right end, the top end of your shopping list. So we'll start at the back of the boat. We've got an awesome bait board, super easy to use. I love this shelf on the bottom here. It's a simple thought, but it's obviously been done by a fisherman. And why that is, it's got an awesome lip here. So if you do put some stuff in this particular shelf here, if it's sinkers or whatever it is, they're gonna stay on the actual bait board. Teflon top, easy to replace after time. Uh, got our offshore right stand-ups here, but we've also got awesome little knife racks in there as well. So there's a lot of little things that you'll find in this boat after time that have just been so well thought out. Um, as we go along at the back of the boat here, we've got our live bait tank. Live bait tank's got a really, really handy inspection lid just here, so we can check out what's going on without opening the lid every five minutes. The cool thing I like about this as well is the height off the actual internal freeboard so I feel like I'm really inside the boat and if I am fighting a fish and I had like a gimbal on I also am high enough that I'm not going to be affected by the actual side decks. On the side decks we've got a couple of flush mount items we've got some awesome uh, non-stick padding in there so uh, when we're getting in and out of the boats non-slip and if someone's got shoes on you're not going to be scratching the top deck on this beautiful paint we've got here. Got some plumb rod holders and we've got some drink holders that are flush mounted in there as well. So that's really really cool. On the side here we We've got our transom door. With our transom door, you don't have any bolts or anything to undo. It's just simply lift in and then back down. Um, offshore ladder, so if you are doing some diving as well, that ladder is certainly uh, something that you can use and you don't have to upgrade. The cool things that this boat has for its offshore purpose for when you're game fishing, which is just so popular down our neck of the woods now, is little things like this. They've thought about in this position, just here, and on top of the hard top, you can see the, another plate here, that when you've got some spray and some wash coming through the boat, it's not gonna end up as much at the back of the boat. So this will stop the water draining down here, and I gotta tell you, when you're a passenger in these things, this extended hard top, so you can be behind the driver passenger hanging on here, with this little spray bracket at the back here, is gonna stop the water going down the back of your neck, which is an absolute treat. The other thing it has, because it is quite a high hard top, so I'm just a smidgen under six foot, but I've got plenty of room under here. So when you do have a higher hard top, that means that your rods on the rocket launcher will be harder to get to. The cool thing that the Yellowfin Plate guys have done is you pull the pin, drops down, easy to get out. So that's just a really, really well thought out item. And this, again, little things that you might not notice straight away when you first look at the boat, but as you learn to go through the boat and love it, you'll realize how much thought's gone into it. Under the driver's seat here, this particular boat's got a bow mount thruster plate, so it's got a, an access to a 36 volt uh, Ming Coda auto deploy system. So that's where the battery's gonna go here. And you'll see this guy's also got a suspension seat. So that's an option. Um, you'll realize, and not trying to sound like a salesman on a video here, but the ride quality of these boats is just amazing. When you go out in these things, you'll really appreciate the way the boat's been constructed. It's so quiet when you're underway. You can do 50, 60, 70 kilometers an hour even, and you can't hear that tatter off the water under the hull. It's fully foam filled, so it doesn't have that acoustic sound going through the hull. And the way they do their marine core flooring, when you actually go for a factory tour through uh, the Yellowfin Pate factory, you realize how over-engineered this boat actually is. It's so over-engineered that you can basically wake up every morning and hit it with a baseball bat and she's just gonna be ready to go. It is a real, real treat to be on. Um, when we go inside the cabin here, the cool thing I like is when I spin my seat around, so I'll just slide this seat forward for a sec. For us uh, southern boaties, I love that when I'm sitting here and I'm fishing, especially with my snapper racks, I'm fully covered. With the older hardtop version, this used to scallop right in. It did two things I didn't like. One, the crosswinds would kill me when I'm anchored. And two, my visibility out of this side windscreen was very, very poor. Now I've got this massive visibility and I've got awesome sliding windows that are just fantastic as well. So it's really been well thought out and it's the sort of boat that they've actually used. They've spoken to their customers, they've spoken to the dealers, they've gone to dealer conferences with it. They haven't rushed the release of it. They've really spent their time and produce the boat that I, I struggle to fold. It's fantastic. When you go around the side of the boat, this is another thing that Yellowfin Plate have 
that a lot of other manufacturers don't is a lot of other manufacturers will try and make maximum room inside the cabin because a lot of these boats are a bit narrower as their competitors so they don't have the room to give you this massive see if you look at the width here between the driver passenger seat i've got so much room in here because the boat's so naturally wide and it carries its beam all the way forward not only do i have room here i've got an awesome walk around the side here so as i stand up I've got handrails the whole way along and I can safely get to the bow of the boat. So if I am launching by myself and I want to get in the thing, if I'm parking the boat, if I've got a Minn Kota at the front there, I want to have a look at it or whatever I want to do, I've got access around the boat. And because again, because the boat's so wide, I've got a beautiful walkthrough as well. The other thing that Yellowfield Plate have done really well in this particular boat is the dash layout. So with this particular dash layout, You've got a HDS-12 Live there, which is a massive unit, but you can see that the actual dash has been templated that the whole dash is in proportion. So I've got my zip weight trim tabs. Um, your, for an example, I package these with either a four cylinder, 200 horsepower Yamaha four stroke or the 4.2 liter drive-by wire, um, 225 horsepower. And typically they'll come with a Yamaha command link gauge. So that goes in the top there. They also have an option for a seven inch screen and the seven inch screen also fits. They've got a new switch panel here. So with their switch panel, it's a lot nicer, it's cleaner. You can see what item that switch has now and if it's on or off with a light system. The other thing they fixed, which was always a bit of an annoyance for me, which I'm really glad to see, is inside the cabin here, they've actually given us access to my fuses with a fuse, with a fuse panel here. And the other cool thing they've done, which is driving me nuts back in the day, is I've actually also got access into the back of my dash. So in the back of the dash there, if I had something I had to do to the back of my head unit, I don't have to take the head unit out anymore. I've got access into the back of the boat. I've got access to my fuses. But inside this cabin here, again, you can have a center bunk to make this all into a bed. You can put an electric toilet in these now with a pump in, pump out macerator. Um, you can see a double locked uh, windscreen uh, cabin hatch there, which works fantastic. Uh, the boat's just so well thought out. So when you are doing your homework and you're going to boat shows or whatever you're doing, please make sure you spend a little bit of extra time in these boat. Talk, talk to your local dealership. If you are in Melbourne, come down the street and marina. We'd love to, uh, to take you through it a little bit more.